Research on traumatic brain injury says there can be previously unknown long-term symptoms for some patients. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with more on these findings. These findings out today, yes. You know, it is estimated that one and a half million people suffer from a traumatic brain injury every year in the United States, and this new research could change the way it's treated. Retired mixed martial arts fighter Rich Franklin has had several traumatic brain injuries. And by my count, I've had roughly eight pretty serious concussions that happened during fights. It's long been thought that people who suffer traumatic brain injuries are out of the woods after being treated. It was considered more like uh, breaking a leg, where you have a period of recovery, but then once you reach a certain point, then things are, are stable. But a new study of more than 25 years of data is challenging that. Researchers have found that some traumatic brain injuries become chronic conditions requiring lifelong treatment. We actually see people changing um, long after their original injury. And actually, the thing you're least likely to do is stay the same. The researchers say some continue to have problems with thinking, problem solving, or regulating behavior, and are often and not supported after their initial treatment, which can make those issues worse. People involved in the study are now working to come up with new ways to help health care facilities, shelters, and even prisons. The idea is to better screen those with traumatic brain injuries and give them the care that's needed. If we were to proactively manage um, traumatic brain injury, like we do diabetes, for instance, uh, to optimize someone's health and, and functioning lifelong. And also, a different kind of research project is underway in Europe to get a better understanding of the brain. Scientists are counting on the world's largest brain bank. Take a look at this. There are 10,000 brains being stored at this research facility in Denmark. It was started back in 1945. Researchers believed as science progressed, so would their understanding of diseases affecting the mind. They say the brains come from patients with dementia, schizophrenia, depression, and other disorders. When they finished the autopsy, they kept the brain and put it up on the shelf and said, okay, maybe in 50 years, maybe even more, someone will come and know more about the brain than we do now. And scientists say that brain bank has already led to some breakthroughs. The time capsule of knowledge from yesterday helping patients today. Sure they it call is. it a no-brainer. <laughs> I didn't think that up. Somebody else that was did. good. But just that saying. Good. Just saying. Excellent work. Just saying. Thank you, Stephanie. Good stuff.